Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, so I got to see a conference call interview with Deontay Wilder. Conference call interviews where you have a whole bunch of different media uh, people on the phone trying to ask questions. So they were, you know, basically talking about the upcoming fight. They started off with Deontay Wilder. They're doing Tyson Fury right now as we speak. You know, have no interest in listening to what Tyson Fury has to say. But there were two specific questions that was asked to Deontay Wilder, and I like how he handled himself and how he answered the questions and the way he articulated himself. And he was transparent, and he also was being politically correct. And I liked how he answered both questions. Now, we're going to talk about the first question that was asked to him. Now, these questions were asked to him by two different uh, members of the media. Now, one media member asked him about, and he wasn't trying to be, you know, he was trying to be condescendent, but he wasn't trying to be disrespectful. It was one of those condescending, but at the same time, he know better than to try to you know, make it look like he's patronizing or trying to integrate Deontay Wilder. So one of the questions that was asked was, well, you know what, Deontay, I'm just kind of curious, um, you know, if Tyson Fury, you know, did the things that you said he did with the egg weights and all that kind of stuff, don't you think this is a criminal matter? And why don't you press criminal charges versus Tyson Fury? And Deontay Wilder answered, well, I'm going to have my revenge, you know, in the ring in a few short weeks. The fight is like, um, uh, come Friday, the fight will be like maybe two weeks out. So, you know, so the fight will be like uh, two weeks. Well, excuse me, come Friday, it'll be like almost two weeks out, you know, two weeks and a little bit of change. And he answered the question to the point to where it was like, okay, I'm not going to force the issue with this. And he kind of like shut it down. He said, I'm going to have my revenge October the 9th. Now, the second question, now I have to be careful how I use my words. Now, the second question that somebody asked him about was, you know, while you participated a while back you know, you, uh, you know, you got the juice, you and your staff and your team. And they tried to ask Wilder that question because, you know, they love to try to tell black people that they need to be the vocal point of trying to get other blacks to, you know, participate. But it's kind of funny. They don't tell blacks to tell other blacks to ask for reparations but they love to tell blacks what to tell blacks when it comes to something that they want out of them so Wilder basically said hey I did it because I trust my people and you know my uh, DOC but I'm not going to tell other people what to do with their body and I applauded him for that. And as you guys know, that's been my whole stance on this whole thing. Where you got a bun bunch of punk bitches, uh, you know, trying to harass you and call they still trying to bully you and shame you to doing something that you just don't feel comfortable doing. My whole stance on this whole thing is your body, your choice. You shouldn't be harassed and you shouldn't be shamed. And I respect uh, Wilder for that. I don't see Wilder any type of way that I didn't see him a year ago. Okay, Wilder, you know, decided to take the juice. Okay, that's cool. Have no problem with it. But what you got is a bunch of punk bitches, you know, and pussy ass, you know, niggas that like try to shame you because they did it. You know, and like I said, I didn't have to tell them to back the fuck up. Like I said before, my whole stance is 
when I feel ready or if I feel ready, it will be my own choice. Not because of what somebody else told me or what somebody else, you know, did. It's going to be my own choice. But that that's all. You know, I don't want to get too deep into that because, you know, um, like E-40 say, they, you know, they might be taping, they might be watching, they might be clocking. So, you know, you know, that, that's all I have to say about that. But once again, kudos to Deontay Wilder, man. It's your boy, Town Piz. I'm out.